Well, the first thing we could do is just do the insertion, right? We can just insert the magnesium inside the bromine, so that should be easy. However, this is not the most useful picture if we have to do anything more with this. Remember, we always want to draw a grignard as if it was ionically bonded. We always want to draw the grignard as if it was ionically bonded. And this is where things become tricky. Um, so let's make sure we're drawing this as if it were ionically bonded. Okay, so first of all, remember that if you're showing an ionic bond, you can't show a covalent bond. So I can't leave this covalent bond here. I've got to erase that covalent bond. And I put a positive charge on the magnesium and a negative charge on the carbon. So let's discuss some mistakes that some of you might have made. It looks to me like some of you put a charge on the bromine. Some of you put a charge on the bromine. But remember, nothing is happening with this bromine. There's nothing interesting about that bromine. Its only role in life is to confuse us here. Again, there are no charges on this bromine. So putting a negative charge there would be wrong because yes. there's no ionic bond between magnesium and bromine? Uh, in a sense, I guess it's somewhat ionic. Maybe it wouldn't be terrible to, but if you were going to put a negative charge on this, you'd have to put a positive two charge on the magnesium. Yeah, because the charge... Because then you'd be showing two happens. ionic bonds. All right, and that's just going to be unconventional and confusing to us. So there's no percentage... There's no percentage and benefit to us in being, going into detail about the bond between the magnesium and the bromine, because that is not of any importance. This is just a counter ion. All we care about is the negative charge on the carbon. What's the whole reason we make green yards in the first place? To put a negative charge on the carbon, to find a carbon nucleophile. Now, you guys corrected me last time. We did have one other carbon nucleophile, which is cyanide, but this is a much more useful carbon nucleophile. The only thing we're interested in here is the carbon nucleophile. This is just a boring counter ion. So the only thing we want to do with it is draw it correctly and then forget about it. Okay, so don't put any charges on the bromine or do anything to it, basically. All right, now some other mistakes that people might make. I didn't see any of you guys make this mistake, but you might do this. Well, remember, you can't show both a covalent and ionic bond at the same time. If we're going to put in the ionic bond, we must erase the covalent bond. These are alternatives to each other. So when you put in the ionic bond, you've got to erase the covalent bond that was there before. I didn't see anyone make that mistake. But I did see some people make this mistake. I saw someone who drew it like this. Well, this was the mistake we talked about before of accidentally adding a carbon. Accidentally adding a carbon. Is this a carbon? No, yeah. it's a magnesium. It's a magnesium. So notice, how do you make this mistake? People make this mistake if they put the negative charge over here. But that doesn't make sense. So the safest thing is, let's, let's, let's automate this process. What's the automated process? The process is, first, erase the covalent bond, then put in the charges. First, erase the covalent bond between the magnesium and the carbon, then put in the charges. That really prevents you from making a lot of the mistakes that we've been talking about here. First erase the covalent bond, then put in the charges. This is pretty important. Uh, Grignards are a very important type of reagent. They should be important on the exam, and they're going to be important for the whole rest of the course. So it's important to be able to deal with them uh, well. All right, so again, um, let's automate the process. How do you make show making a Grignard? Well, first you can do... First you can do insertion. You just insert the magnesium between the bromine and the carbon. Second, erase the covalent bond between the magnesium and the carbon, and only last should you put in the charges so that you don't accidentally add a carbon, and don't do anything to this bromine over here. Okay, so that is our uh, green yard there. Okay, so far so good. All right. All right, so these are important ideas to have made into flashcards, uh, as I was saying. Okay, so let's draw the product from this. You may as well show the mechanism too. Let's show the mechanism of the product.
Okay, it looked like uh, some of you had some hiccups there, but uh, you corrected them, so it looked like we're on the right path. The very first thing we should do is rewrite this in a more useful form. So the first thing I do is erase the covalent bond. Only after I erase the covalent bond am I going to put in the charges. Now, I was hoping, I was hoping that I was going to get you guys to write this, uh, but I failed. Despite my best efforts, no one would write this. You all avoided the trap. Despite my devious plans, no one fell into this trap over here. Obviously, this would be adding a carbon, so we can't do this. Uh, so this would be wrong. This is the correct uh, uh, starting material uh, over here. Okay, um, and then who, who should be interesting to us here? This carbon, the carbon with a negative charge. Now, should this be at a head or a tail? Tail. Yeah, so I think I saw somebody who started with this at the head, but that doesn't make sense. This needs to be at the tail of the arrow because we're donating the electrons. Who are we going to donate the electrons to? Hydrogen. Hydrogen. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, don't forget this little arrow here. We have to show what's happening to these electrons. Is it wrong? Oh, I'm just kidding. You can or cannot show this hydrogen. It doesn't matter because it's a hidden hydrogen. Maybe it's good to show it because it's good to show the changes that are happening, but you'd get full credit whether you show this hydrogen or not. After all, there's tons of hydrogens here we're not showing in the first place. But this is the new hydrogen that was introduced. The most elegant thing to do here is to show the hydroxide and the magnesium bromide as counter ions over here. I don't know if your instructors would care about that or not. Um, so, uh, but the most elegant thing is to show these now as if they were ionically bonded. But that, that's not the key thing. Okay, um, so that gave us uh, this over here. This is the reaction we talked about before. Now, in all likelihood, this might be a mistake. That uh, if so, if this is a, a mistake that like a beginning chemistry student would make in the lab. If they're using a, a Grignard reagent, they might accidentally add some water. Well, that would destroy their Grignard reagent and uh, destroy their labors. However, suppose you really wanted to make cyclohexane. Well, then this would be the way to go. Uh, so uh, that would be a good uh, approach there. OK, so this is one thing we can do with the Grignard. We can protonate it. Grignards can protonate. How is the Grignard reacting here as a base? That's not usually what we want this for. OK. Uh, synthesis problem. Here we have another synthesis. Oh, but here they're telling us the... <coughs> oh, no, I, I misspoke. I'm sorry. This can't be a synthesis. This must be predict the products. This is another predict the products problem. Uh, and again, it would be good to actually go through the mechanism and not just show the products. This is definitely a crucial reaction for us to know. We are drawing the mechanism? Yeah, the question is just asking you for the products, but it's, it's, always, it's oftentimes a good idea to draw the mechanism to help yourself out. So let's draw that mechanism. You guys need some help? Yes. OK. Well, the first step should be easy. The first step is just to redraw the starting material in a more useful form. I erase the covalent bond, and I put the negative charge over here. And from this point on, I'm almost going to just ignore this counter ion. OK, 